Right then, sales update, let's get on with this. Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. So, today we have sold, well, first off, uh, we have sold this mid-century splatter art, uh, splatter art, splatter art, uh, turquoise and opaque tall glass vase. Um, so, basically I picked one of these up at the car boot, um, I talked to someone who knows a little bit more about glassware, and she informed me that they're not really that valuable. But then, I actually found another one, which was this one, in one of the auction job lots I pick up. So, um, obviously it didn't cost me much, and I thought... I, I realised after buying that first one that these aren't actually worth as much as I thought they were. Um, but obviously that didn't matter in this circumstance because I hadn't paid that much for it. So, um, yeah, I ended up listing it anyway. Um, it's quite a tall vase, as you can see there. It's like 30-odd centimetres. And to be honest, I thought these, when I first picked that one up at the car boot, I thought these would be every bit of sort of 30 quid, 35 quid. I did optimistically shoot for 20 quid plus postage, and even that was quite an optimistic price with these, um, but I did accept an offer of 14.99 plus postage on this one, um, which I was more than happy to accept, considering it didn't cost me much in one of these job lots, and also the fact that Obviously, I knew that these weren't worth much in the first place, um, but they're still quite nice. I still quite like them, to be honest, but if you see them, only pick them up for a quid or two. And also, you've got to be really careful with packaging these items. I'm not usually that, you know, that fussed about packaging ceramics or anything. I can just do it no trouble. But even with this one, I did think to myself, well, I've got to be very careful in packaging this, just because of the size of it. Um, so yeah, that was quite a nice sale there. Next, we've got this Shadow Hearts game that you will have seen in one of my charity shop car boot slash, uh, charity shop slash car boot sale hauls. Um, so yeah, I actually um, picked this up for one ninety nine, and basically I just whacked it on auction. I um, paid, yeah, so I paid one ninety nine, and I thought to myself, right, it's slow at the moment. I need some money through the door. Let's get some stuff on auction. So what these, this was one of the items I whacked on auction. Could I have attained more on buy it now? No doubt. I probably could have attained thirty quid, thirty five, maybe even a little bit more. But sometimes you've got to assess where you're at sales wise. You've got to think, right, do I want a, a you know a quick twenty five quid, or do I want maybe a slightly slower thirty or thirty five quid? No doubt it probably would have sold you know fairly quickly, but uh, still I wanted I wanted that kind of almost guaranteed sale of an auction. I know an au auctions aren't completely guaranteed. But with video games, Lego, that sort of stuff, it's a lot more kind of guaranteed than it would be with something more obscure if you put on auction. So, yeah, that was that one. Quite a nice sale. Next was something I wasn't sure I undersold or not. I mean, maybe someone could tell me in the comments. Um, I picked this up for two quid, though, so fantastic profit on it. Uh, into 19.99 plus postage, I did get the full asking price for this. Um, and it's just, it piqued my interest because it's quite nice, and I've not really seen one of these before. Um, and it seems like it's you know, it, it's of decent quality. It's like a hand-carved type wooden plate. Um, pretty cool. It's like um, 30 centimetres or something, is it? 30, 35 centimetres uh, in diameter there. Um, and it is really, really nice, actually. I like it. But I'm wondering, because it went within about a day or two, and I'm wondering maybe I could have got 25, maybe I could have got 30 for this. Maybe I've shot myself in the foot a little bit. Maybe I could have, you know, achieved a little bit more. Um, but certainly if I, if I see something similar, you know, a similar size, a similar sort of carved piece like that in the future, I'll probably go a little bit higher. So you live and learn with these things, and maybe, as I say, I could have got a little bit more on that one. But an absolutely lovely item there. Uh, something, uh, you know, just a bread and butter item, really. I think I paid like 2 or 2 50 for this in the charity shop. I did pick up quite a few of these over a period of time, and I was paying in the charity shop anywhere between about £1 and about £2.50. Um, so, yeah, uh, I've got this uh, Garfield Dakin Plush here, 1978. These vintage ones, they're kind of bread and butter. I think some of them, you know, some of the more obscure ones, they did loads of these different variants of Garfield. Uh, some of the more obscure variants maybe go for a little bit more. Um, I got £12.50. I accepted an offer again. It's been slow, so I've been accepting offers. But it was a fair offer, you know, £12.50 plus the postage. Um, and it did take a while to sell. You can see there it's using my old postage price of 2 99 instead of my new postage price of uh, 3 49 So you can see it's a fairly older listing. 
Next was this. Oh, sorry, I've just realised I've not. I usually put these in price order. I haven't put these in price order today. So yeah, basically like. It's just random today. Anyway, I'll remember for next week to put them in price order. So, imagine it's Fisher Plies, Power Rangers, uh, Megazord. Pick this up in a charity shop haul you will have seen for 20 quid. I was umming and ahhing whether to pick it up because I was thinking I could get this price for it, which is 50 plus postage. And I was thinking, is it a good margin? It's quite a big item, so I've got to store it and pack it and everything. Is it worth it? And in hindsight, I would, I probably wouldn't have picked this up. Even though, yes, I did get some money for it, and it's probably taken a month or two to sell. I, I just think the margin's not as good as it could be. And it is quite a big item as well to store. Um, but yeah, still, I, I did end up picking it up. And I did end up getting 50 quid. So there's some profit in there anyway. I've at least doubled my money, I would say, on that one. So it's not so bad. Uh, next is this Vintage Ken Barbie doll, uh, 1968. This was something I got from another reseller. I didn't show these hauls on the channel. I did kind of briefly mention them in some vlogs and stuff um, but basically I have a friend who I met through well sort of through reselling uh, he's actually a chat well he was a charity shop manager and uh, or charity shop co-manager and he basically said to me that he's got loads of stuff at home he used to be a reseller all that sort of stuff and over the course of about six to eight months I actually got about five carloads of stuff from uh, his house and I never showed it on the channel because I didn't know whether he kind of would like me to do that. He did. He was aware, and he is still aware that I have a YouTube channel so, so, uh, surrounding reselling. But I didn't really want to, you know, I didn't ever ask him to show it on the channel or anything, so I didn't. But there was some really, really nice stuff in there. Some of the best stuff I have had in my reselling career. I actually got three uh, Sega Mega CDs, which was absolutely insane to have three of them. Um, I got. Yeah, anyway, I got so much good stuff. I got so many retro consoles, so many cool games, just awesome. Um, it was mainly gaming-related stuff. But anyway, this was one of the kind of the toys or the figures that I had. Um, and this was just kind of a bread and butter item. I am now in profit on the majority of those hauls. So this is kind of just profit after postage and fees. Um, so I actually accept an offer of... Was it... Oh, no, no, I didn't accept an offer on this. No, I didn't accept an offer. That, I actually got the full price for this. So it's just a Ken Barbie doll from 1968. Full price on that plus the postage. You can see it's a slightly older listing again because of my postage price. Um, but yeah, it went in the end, so I was happy with that one. Next, uh, this Bullseye Classic ITV DVD game, brand new and sealed. Got it from the car boot about a month and a half, two months ago. And uh, I got it for 150 and as you can see there, I flipped it into 14.99, And it was, as I said, brand new and sealed. Next is this, um, something that I don't sell that often. I don't know whether maybe more of you guys who sell these kind of collectible items or brass items or, you know, all that sort of stuff. If any of you guys sell these regularly or not, but I find it quite a tough sell to sell these jam pans now. Um, and e even to get this price, like 20 quid plus postage... It's quite a tough sell. It takes quite a while to get that price. Um, but this was a really nice one. It was quite clean. Obviously, there's you know a bit of patina or wear or whatever you want to call it call it to it. But you know it's still nice. It's quite a fairly clean one, uh, considering the other ones that I've that I've had and that I've seen are not anywhere up to this standard. It's really nice handle on it. Very very heavy handle, um, and it looks like it's got some sort of copper rivets holding the handle in place or something like that. Um, but yeah, quite nice one there. 19.99 plus my postage. I was very happy when it sold. It would have cost me about three or four quid in a blast job lot. Generally, I've showed these on the hall. Uh, I've showed these on the hall. I've showed these on the channel quite a lot. I generally get big job lots of brass and copperware, maybe one or two boxes, and I generally pay for the one or two boxes like 15 to 25 quid, depending on the sort of quality. Um, so yeah, if you work it out on a per item basis, it might have even cost less than that. So I'm quite happy with that sale. And they're not too hard to pack these. Um, the handle actually folds down on this one, so it's not too, you know, it's not too big or bulky. Um, but yeah, it, it wasn't too bad to pack that one. Uh, next is this, I think, no, yeah, this is penultimate sale. Uh, Plant Tuscan China, uh, George VI Coronation Mug 1937. Is that right? Have I put George, that, is that George, is that not Edward? Have I put George VI, I'm sure it's Edward. 
Oh no, no, it is George. Oh, right. anyway, maybe it's just me. Anyway, I know it was night. Was it 1936, Edward? Was it? I, I thought it was 1937 that Edward VIII was it? Were, well, was kind of crowned king and then ab abdicated or something. Anyway, I don't know, but it is actually George VI. I was actually writing my title there. I just thought I'd got my title wrong for some reason. I didn't get 1999. I actually accepted an offer of £12.50. Uh, good plant Tuscan is a good brand to look out for. They do some really nice um, ceramic, uh, what are we called, candlestick holders. They've got like a floral design around them. Really, really nice. Then I wouldn't say they're really high end, but you can get like 30 or 40 quid for the pair. So, you know, decent money, but not mega, mega high end. Um, but yeah, Plant Tuscan, I like that brand. Uh, there is the, uh, what do you call it, the maker's mark of a stamp there. Uh, if you would like to, you know, if you're looking out for it in future. Um, I just like it. I like their stuff. I think it's decent quality. Um, and as you can say, see, it's just a bit of commemorative wear. But not all commemorative wear is, you know, just no money you know some of it is actually worth something like i've said tons of times on the channel if i had held out i might have been able to get 1999 but i'm thinking maybe you know maybe i, I would have come down to 1499 in the end anyway because that i think that was kind of make up a price um so yeah anyway Finally, it was this Saltbush Bill. I actually have made profit on this job lot. It was a job lot of magazines I got from the auction for £15 plus commission. I got a load of Witcher Tees Tribe ones, which was the pick series as well that I got 60 to 70 quid for. Can't remember what the exact number was, but it was on auction. I think it was like 68 plus postage. Um, but yeah, from 15 quid plus commission, that put me way in profit. And then I had these, and I had um, some Disney magazines, and I have I have some stuff back at the lockup actually, but it's not great stuff. Um, but yeah, I actually accepted a low offer of twenty quid. You might be thinking, why have I done that? Well, the two reasons: for one, they don't owe me anything, and it might have taken me forever to get thirty quid, so I'd rather just have a quick twenty. And the other reason is that it is slow again, so you know it's best just to accept these offers if you can, if there's a good margin in it. And then, you know, keep churning those listings on and get the sales back to wherever you need to be. So, yeah, I was quite happy with that sale, even at 20, because I hadn't had much interest in these um, or, or much activity in these for the last few months anyway. So, yeah, that I'll round up the sales update today. I hope it was it, within that sort of 10 minute bracket. If you do um, like the video, then please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions or queries, again, down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So I will leave it there, guys. See you in the next one.